Well, there are lots of big, big names have started at the Connaught. I think Olivier did a play at the Connaught. Yeah. And Peter Cushing started at the Connaught. He never told me that when we were doing Frankenstein. <laughs> there I was on the set, standing next to the great man. I was totally in awe. I thought, I really don't believe this, that I'm actually standing on a set, you know, with Peter Cushing. And, and he looked so, so frightening. He had this face that was, looked so evil. And he was the complete opposite. He was the most gentle man. His voice was very soft and he was very, he was always very polite and interesting and always interested. And, you know, we had long chats and he used to come up to me and say, oh, how are you, Derek? I mean, this great face. I said, I'm very well, thank you towards the end and during the shoot which was only six weeks six wonderful weeks I couldn't wait uh, to get to work uh, to be with him and the wonderful Thorley Walters and, and Peter was always saying you know what have you been doing and what's coming up for you and I wish you luck and, and uh, good fortune and I thought he was the most incredible actor but also the most wonderful man I, I felt so blessed and I I wished I could have gone on and done three or four other films I'd love to have worked with him again but not only me he was interested in everyone and he used to come on the set in the morning and say you know in that very quiet voice how are you good morning good morning to everyone the crew everyone and then when he started to act, and this voice, you know, this Frankenstein came out, and you think, blimey, he is, uh, he is something else. And I love watching him on screen. He is extraordinary. Well, we call this Dr. Theatre. You know, if, you, uh, if you're not feeling well or something, is the moment the camera goes on, or the moment the curtain goes up, something takes over. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've recently done a play. I've gone back on stage, and uh, we were. I was bottling it before, and then the curtain went up. And you, you go into another. It's another. I can't explain it. And I can understand actors sitting very quietly, and because they're doing all the work, and then suddenly the word action and the camera happens and the curtain goes up and then something something magical takes over. And uh, is that why we do it? I don't know. You see, when we went to drama school, all of us in 1958, there were no, we never thought about films or telly, uh, although there were only two channels, TV channels, we all wanted careers uh, in the theatre, on the stage, and that's why we were there. And uh, I remember in my class there was, you know, Tom Courtney and John Hurt and Edward Fox and Sarah Miles and Bill Gaunt. We were, we, we were there training to have careers in the theatre. We never thought about fame. We just wanted to earn a living doing the, the, the thing that we loved doing, and that was acting. And uh, we all began, really, in, on the stage. I was on the stage for years. So I understand Peter saying that his first love was the theatre. Uh, I do understand that. But then you start getting a few television roles, and then you start doing a few movies and uh, suddenly your career changes and uh, that's what happened to Peter. I think he became a huge film star. When I left drama school I had an agent, uh, Ronnie Waters at Al Parker 
and he lived in Worthing. So he said, I'm going to send you down to Worthing to do this play, it's weekly rep. I said, weekly rep? And uh, off I went down there. The first thing, well, my first West End play was The Miracle Worker with Anna Massey. And I did that down at Worthing. And then I did Billy Liar down there and Look Homeward Angel. And every time I was out of work, Ronnie would say, I'm going to send you back to Worthing, he said. <laughs> and uh, so I loved the Connell. I did many plays there. And of course, it was weekly rep. And God, that's tough. He made so many uh, Hammer films. Sadly, I only made that one. I made two other horror films, but which will be nameless. <laughs> but uh, I don't think they were Hammer. So I just made one film for Hammer. But, you know, Anthony Nelson Keyes and, and Terry Fisher, who directed, and the whole setup of those six weeks was a joy. You know, the crew and, and my, my co-actors, Barry Warren and, and Peter Blythe, sadly no longer with us. And of course, the wonderful Thorley Walters, who made me laugh every day. Just to see him and Peter on the set together uh, made me laugh a lot. Although they were being very serious at the time. But uh, I, I just loved, loved watching them. I loved being in their company. And although it's uh, how many years ago, I just adored the man. And, uh, and then I got his letter. <laughs>